So I've had actually more time to just kind of think and be with my thoughts and emotions today than usual. Usually when I'm at home, uh, I put a lot of time into my work, you know, writing, reading, administering social media, things like that. And so I don't really have a lot of time to do things that I would like to do. And one of the things that I've been meaning to do is to do more work with certain spirits like Belial. Uh, Belial is one of those spirits that I don't work with very often, um, but I do work with him. And today, uh, I just sort of on a whim called to him and made a connection. And I saw in my mind's eye a great chariot coming down with two angels in it, just as is said to be his, his way. And as I envisioned this chariot coming down, like a flying chariot, like the chariot in the card uh, from the tarot deck, I envisioned it coming down and it was dreadfully silent. The angels weren't speaking to me. And I'm thinking to myself, well, I guess the angels are, you know, I guess Belial is displeased with me in some way, but I got the very distinct impression that they wanted me to come with him. They kind of made space between them on their chariot for them, for someone. And so in my, my vision, in my astral sight, in my third eye, I walked up and they welcomed me. They helped me onto the chariot and we went off, we went off into the air. And I saw what looked like sort of an idyllic, maybe, oh, I don't know medieval countryside in maybe maybe in Italy or France or something. Just fields and farms as far as the eye could see. And I remember we were going up and we didn't quite go into the clouds, but we went up pretty high and I started to see myself being thrown out of the chariot. Like um, they kind of like let go of the reins and if something wasn't done, the chariot was going to flip and I saw myself fall out. And then it kind of rewound and it repeated this several times until I took the reins into my own hands. And when I did that, the chariot stabilized and we took off higher and they began to speak to me. And I began to hear their voice in my mind. And it was essentially the idea that, you know, I need to take the reins. I need to take the reins of what I'm doing and I need to make things serve me. I need to stop doing so much for others uh, and not getting anything for it in return. Now that doesn't mean, I have to figure sort of what that means exactly in how to apply that. But the principle is, you know, I've been feeling kind of, let's just say, because of certain events that have happened recently, with certain friendships and things that were rather unfair and some things have happened and trying to build brands for social media and things like that, you know, you can kind of lose your focus sometimes on your own ascension because your own ascension can become about materialistic, dumb things. And so you can kind of end up spending more time administering the needs of your kingdom rather than the actual, you know, things that you maybe need to do for a spiritual reason things you need to do to learn to be a better person and by better I mean more more functional more capable um, so basically a lot of time is spent making sure that other people's needs are met so that I am the hub of social media action you know I take care of making streams work um, I create content constantly, um, things like that. And I don't mind doing any of that. That's, that's all fun for me. But, you know, I need to focus on building up what I do as well. And not just, uh, and I'm not saying anything negative, like I'm not saying that I shouldn't be doing things with From the Ashes or Dark Sorcery or anything like that. It simply means that I need to, in my own perception, in my own activities, I need to make things serve me 
and not worry about necessarily the success or failure of the venture, but I need to make it serve me. Um, and part of that vision was really, you know, empowered, or should I say, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, that part of the vision was really, you know, like an exclamation point was pointed over it because of what I was seeing below me. I was seeing people toiling. I was seeing people that were friends and enemies toiling away on their own dreams and ambitions. And I asked myself, you know, where is mine? What, where is my kingdom right now? Where is what I'm working on right now? What's happening with it? Um, is it? Is it improving? Is it getting bigger? And he brought me to the base of what looked like, or I should say I brought myself to the base of what looked like a castle in progress being built. And I'm going to have to come back. I have a customer. So, yeah. Uh, customer's gone. So, where was I? We were flying over the fields and the farmlands, and everybody was toiling away working on their, their little fiefdom, their little farm, their little, you know, whatever you want to call it. And we got to mine, and... Instead of just a farm, there was what looked like a tower or a castle, just the foundation being built. And it was, you know, it was, it was um, obviously remarkable to me that it was a castle or a tower, which means that, um, you know, there's definitely, at least in my mind, I don't know if that's Belial's way of saying that what I'm building is bigger and more, you know, like a stronghold or something or whatever. That could just be my own ego, and it could be me saying, look at what I'm building is just bigger and more important and special, but it was definitely something like, you know, something made of stone, something made of stone, big blocks of stone, like a castle or maybe like an old fortress or maybe an old tower or maybe, um, I'd even say maybe even like a cathedral or a temple or something, and it was being built uh, upon a hill, and... It looked like it needed help. It looked like um, the building was going well, but that there was only a couple of people working on it, you know, um, which is what everybody had, you know, but generally everybody just kind of had themselves or themselves and a partner. And I had a small handful of people working on it, people I didn't recognize, just, you know, peasants, basically, peasants, serfs, people, helpers, whatever. Um, and it, it looked like the beginning of something. And I think potentially that was part of a message as well. And that was that, you know, and I've got to put this again, it's not just the symbols. I've got to understand how they apply to what I'm doing. You know, the symbols are just symbols, but I've got to actually take those symbols in context and see if they have deeper meaning. Maybe there's something I need to know about what I saw of the peasants, but I don't recognize them. They were just like little hooded figures, you know, way down, like little bugs on the ground doing their work. But maybe there's something to that. Maybe there's something I need to know. Maybe there's something I need to think about. You know, maybe I need, um, I need more workers. Maybe I need more leaders. Maybe I need more people that are um, being protected by what's going on. You know, it's, there's, there's always potential for more. But I don't like to read too deeply into the symbolism of visions too quickly. I like to take my time and sometimes I remember or figure out or add details to a vision later. You know, as I'm thinking about it, it'll clarify in my mind later on things that I missed and I'll, I'll go from there. So that's kind of a big message to me and it, and it kind of strikes right to the heart of what I've been feeling today. I felt a little, I don't want to say burnt out, but burnt out. I felt a little burnt out today. You know, the last couple, say weeks, you know, when the thing is, you can't always feel good. You can't always have success. And if you pursue good feelings and success all the time, nothing but, you can get burnt out because um, it's impossible to have a constant, constant, constant state of ascension. You're going to have, you know, just like any, um, like if you look at a stock market thing, even when it's always going up, it's still going down intermittently. And so when you have these times of difficulty or failure or loss or challenges or whatever somebody else does something better than you and you feel like oh i should have been the one to do that um you know there's nothing wrong with that that's that's normal and you've got to just kind of just 
work through it and just figure, hey, this week I had a, a hiccup, next week it won't be a hiccup. And it wasn't a bad week by any stretch. Even with the things, the drama that was going on, um, the insanity that's going on with certain people that uh, have a very skewed and I'm going to say demented opinion about things. Um, you know who you are if you're watching this. Um, it's, it's just one of those situations where these things have to happen. And they're part of growth because, you know, kind of like when I'm looking at that castle that's being built, you know, you try to select the right stones for the foundation in particular. And you can't, you've got to be picky. You can't just put any old stone as the foundation. You've got to make sure that those stones that serve as your foundation are strong, they're large, they're made of the right stuff. And if in the course of your construction of your castle, certain blocks fail, um, but they fail early. As much as that's not good, at least it saved you because instead of failing later on when this wall and this tower is built, it's failing now, early in the construction. And you have time to replace it before it causes any more problems. So there's a lot of symbolism, a lot of things to be seen in all of this. And I wanted to share this with you guys because, well, it's, it's an excuse to make a video for one thing. Um, you know, I don't always share everything that I see or do, but... Um, it's something I needed. And it also reminds me, you know, I don't have to do rituals to have connections and messages and have things happen. And, you know, rituals are really just for show. They're really just for fun and building some extra energy for things and making things special. And it's the day-to-day -day magic that really is important. You know, I'm sitting here in my work clothes. I'm not wearing my cool black sorcerer's outfit. I'm sitting here in my dirty, uh, you know, sweaty work clothes. Um... And I don't even have an offering to give to him. I don't have anything to offer him, nothing. And he came to me anyway, and he gave me a strong sign. So tonight, of course, when I go home, I'll, I'll put something on my altar for him. But the point is, is that magic doesn't require this, at least this kind of magic anyway. Working with spirits doesn't require any elaborate steps. It doesn't require going through, you know, complex motions of magical operation. It's quite literally just stand in front of a mirror and evoke the name of a spirit and open your mind and see what comes through. And if you're sensitive enough, if you're a medium, that's all it takes. And most people can do this on some level. They just don't know it. Well, anyway, guys, that's it for today. Um, I'm probably going to be editing this tonight and posting it soon. Um, so hope you guys are well. And I'm sorry about the vertical camera. I usually put it horizontally, but uh, I figured today would be fine for a vertical shot. I'll check you guys later. Hopefully this came out good. Talk to you later. Bye. Show me your support by making sure to like and comment on this video. Subscribe and hit the bell for updates, and then if you wish, share this video responsibly. If you want to support me further, or want to know more about my practice, or learn to master your own, consider purchasing my high quality book, Become the Maelstrom. The link is in the description. If you need my help, or want to book my professional services, you can contact me directly on Facebook, or go to fromtheashespublishing.com and look for my list of services under Magical Services. If you do not see a specific service or ritual that addresses your concern, contact me and I can tailor make a custom ritual working just for you. The link for all this are in the description. Thank you and mind the shadows.